You might have an idea of what a typical apartment in Japan looks like, but today I'm giving you an inside look into a three bedroom house in Tokyo that came completely furnished. Hi, come on in. Welcome to my house. This is a Japanese household, which means those have to stay here. So, can you just leave them at the Genkan? Well, welcome to my house. Over here, we have the living room, which is also connected to the dining room and kitchen, which we'll get to later. It's a completely furnished setup, so we didn't have to bring anything, just a suitcase and whatnot. So yeah, everything that you see here, including the furniture and TV appliances, all of that came with the house. The only thing that I guess I would change about this living room is the brightness. There's not a lot of light that comes into this room. It's really dark. <laughs> There we go. Old house, it happens. So here's the dining room. We got this dining table, which is actually pretty great because you can extend it when there's guests over and we have two chairs. And this area is where we have all of our appliances, including this microwave oven, because actually in Japanese houses, it doesn't come with ovens. So this kind of is great because it does both. Um, we have our Nespresso machine, which is new. And of course, rice cooker, because what Asian household does not have a rice cooker? Moving on to the kitchen, we have this, I guess, fridge. There's a lot of countertop space and a lot of sink room. <laughs> the sink is big, there's a lot of countertop space, and I also really like that the oven is not the IH heater, it's actually like gas. Yeah, but I just really like that there's a lot of storage in this kitchen, and like I said, everything came with the house. So all of our cups, utensils, you name it, we didn't have to buy. The previous owners left some things, so we have a little bit of everything. Again, lots of storage room. Down here we have our snack drawer. So this house is about 960 US dollars per month, and I split it with my boyfriend. For the amount of space and the amount of storage, look how much storage we have, it's a really good deal, especially because we didn't have to buy any of the furniture. All right, and moving on to our Simmenjo slash shower room. But before we enter, I want to show you this little screen. You push this one button and this is basically what controls whether, you know, we get hot water or not. So you can also control like if you want to heat up the bath, which we'll get into later. And then here is the Simminjo area, which is where you do like your makeup, you, there's a huge sink, there's a mirror, and it's usually most of the time connected to the shower room, which we'll get into later. But I think this is the only area in the house where I feel like there's not enough storage room. Um, so we had to get this Ikea shelf to have somewhere to put our clothes on when we uh, take a shower. I really like that the sink is quite big. Of course, it's really low because it is Japan. Um, but you can open these mirrors, which is really nice because again, extra space. Since there's no place to hang our towels, we just added these hooks to hang our towels. Come on into the shower room. So here is the shower slash bathroom. As you can tell, there's a lot of natural light. It's really nice, especially if you take showers in the morning. This is where you can control whether you want to reheat the water that's already in the bath or you can push a button and it just automatically fills the bath up with hot water. So that's really useful. Here's the bathroom, quite nice, quite nice. Oh, it's also got this mirror. The mirror is quite nice when you're, you know, you're like shaven, shaven, you can use that. All right, the next place that I need to show you is the oteadai. Here is the toilet and yes, this house comes with a bidet to wash all of your nastiness. So my other house didn't have a bidet and wow does it make a difference in your quality of life. So yay to heated seats. Are you ready to go to the second floor? Let's go. All right so here's the top of the stairs. It's kind of like this crammed space with three doors because this is actually a three LDK meaning there's three bedrooms. Um, I'm going to be showing you the workroom first which is actually the biggest bedroom. Come on in. As you can see, there's no beds. We actually got rid of the bed here and put it up in our storage room, which you'll see later. Since I said that I share this house with my boyfriend, he has his corner over here, and this is my corner. Um, but this is our creative corner, I suppose. Uh, we have our pictures that we've painted together. 
super cute. This is where we get work done, we get creative, and sometimes we even film videos here. Since this is a bedroom, it also comes with a little closet, and this closet, which I can't show, is actually dedicated to him so he can put whatever he wants in here. He has all his clothes and camera equipment, all of that is in here. You can show if you want. I can show it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, here it is. Here's his stuff. Um, over here is where we have we don't usually open this unless we have to. So yeah, that's the vet. That's not the bedroom. That is the workroom. Since that is my boyfriend's closet, where are my clothes? Well, let me show you. Here is the storage room slash my closet. So this is where I put my clothes. Thanks to my boyfriend being very kind, I have this space. Pretty big for a closet, but this is actually supposed to be a bedroom. So for a bedroom, it's a relatively smaller bedroom. Originally, this was supposed to be a loft bedroom. We can take this ladder and hook it on that metal thing. And up there is actually where we put our things that we don't use. So that is our storage area. And the closet room also leads to this balcony that's connected to the bedroom. It's really windy out here. So yeah, let's leave. So this is bedroom number two. We are gonna go to the actual bedroom. Let's go. It's a pretty simple room. We only have two things in here, which is the big bed and a side table. This room is the smallest room out of the three. I mean, we really only come here to sleep. We've got some pictures on the wall here, kind of to make it you know, moody. This is drawn by yours truly. I got this at Goodwill. Yeah, and I guess that is the end of the house tour. So hope you guys enjoyed. Still a work in progress, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>